bunch of i would say young enthusiastic uh, educators who try to make some difference in the the way we are being trained i would say we are being trained because we are all part of the system we still learning every day and it's not only that we are teaching we are also learners and uh, we would be also getting to learn many things from all of you so if everybody is okay we can start the proce proceeding dr alisa dr sanand and yes, others yes 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 okay okay so um, myself uh, dr tapas kumar sahu i am the uh, course director as well as one of the uh, founder of uh, 360 critical care academy which everybody knows that uh, this academy is striving hard to do something good in the field of uh, critical care education in india as well as abroad and in the process we are into the second year of the online teaching as well as it would be also uh, offline maybe in near future we have started one course uh, last year offline as well and we are in the process of making it also in between some or other offline so i would be starting in a little bit different way we all know that uh, this was the cricket season but can you see what is happening here if somebody is a soccer lover so i know sanand sanand san is actually a very good soccer player so you see what is happening this is all strategy i would say this is all team effort and i would say this is all fooling the i would say not the examiner but rather the people who feel that you cannot do you, you are not like want to win the match or you are not a good team so with this say, enthusiastic educators decided on a fine day to do something for our own indian diploma of critical care medicine idcm trainees that that would make them competent enough to clear their exams that is the whole idea of starting or thinking about this type of course and we believe in teamwork we will be doing something good for our uh, own students own trainees and that seen definitely in future courses with this background we 360 critical care uh we all know uh do lot of uh, academic courses in the field of critical care for the time being we are also into nephrocritical care and also plan to have few other courses in near future related to sepsis related to something we decided today also in the evening with sanand and myself we thought about doing something very innovative for the first time i would not disclose that and in international arena also uh dr rohit be ready we are coming to you also in near future and you will be the flag bearer at that place so with this background i will not take much of time i would hand over now or i would say i would uh, invite dr alisa choudhury who is the i would say the icon or the 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 fulcrum behind uh, developing this course for our young trainees idccm trainees and she would be <coughs> along with all the like minded young dynamic educators critical care practitioners uh, would be now describing what this idccm tricks course is all about and how it is going to change the way you are planning to prepare for your upcoming idccm exam so with this background i am just stopping the screen sharing dr alisa a uh, very good evening to everyone sorry for a really bad throat day today actually but i hope i am audible to everyone and uh, i'll request dr gautam to be also around so that he can also take over if it's required in between so i am around ma'am yeah so as sir mentioned tricks idccm course uh, so i'm basically uh, md pulmonary medicine and then i did my idccm in apollo hospitals chennai and if you know apollo chennai the work schedule and working hours are so much almost around 72 hours a week that practically speaking apart from rounds and classes uh, we never got much time to actually sit and study but as everybody told idccm last three months you will have to give in your best and if i must tell you dr priya dr sashi and dr nidhi 
who are the faculties in your course were actually my IDCCM batchmates. So all four of us used to, uh, you know, during duty hours or after duty hours, because all of us were in different branches of Apollo. Uh, be awake from like 11 o'clock onwards till 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock at night, discuss topics, go through MCQs together. And, you know, like uh, whatever has been discussed in class, discuss about those topics and try to divide it. And then I used to feel that maybe from a pulmonary medicine background, critical care was a little tough for me initially. But thanks to my batchmates and these colleagues, I could clear in one go without any hassles. And the other thing probably was that you know, there were people around to discuss and, you know, go on uh, looking at MCQs together, which I feel sometimes may be difficult if you're the only trainee or if you don't have enough like-minded people. So at, uh, the association with tricks started from EDIC preparation, EDIC2 preparation. Recently, Dr. Gautam, who's one of your faculty also, both of us had taken and we cleared our EDIC recently. And we, all of us felt that Maybe how about helping? We have a lot of courses for ed, a lot of courses for DM critical care and DRMB. But what about IDCCM? The theory exam is supposed to be one of the toughest exams. Ex I mean, exit exams. So how can we help these IDCCM students? And then when Tapasar suggested, why not do something for the IDCCM candidates? That's how the thought of this course came. So I know like all of us say that uh, you know, it's exam time, just three months away. I think you will be having your exam mostly in the March 2nd Friday or the 3rd Friday, right? That will be your exam. And then April, you'll be having your practicals. So exams are coming. All of us are worried because you have to work. There is no preparatory leave like you get in your postgraduate exams. You have to work and you have to study, right? So you have multiple choice questions. Your answer will be the single best answer. <laughs> there is no negative marking. Total 100 questions for three hours. And the passing cutoff always varies. So like for my exam, the highest out of 100 was 84. So the pass mark was 42. So I always thought that, okay, it's better to pray for a tough pe paper so that the uh, highest scorer gets less and the cutoff is accordingly less. But that cannot be done all the time, right? What if a paper is very easy? But if you ace this theory, then you are ready for your practicals. So what are the books you can go through? Everybody would have suggested, somebody would have told you Washington, O's, Pink, Irwin Ripley. There are endless number of books. Somebody can just tell you that, you know, I just read Washington through and through and I cleared the exam. But the other person who read Washington would have told nothing came from Washington. So I would not say only books are enough. Definitely, you need a base book to prepare. Like for me, it was Washington. But you need to even read around a little because critical care is not medicine or anesthesia or pulmonary medicine where your areas are defined and where your subject matter is also defined. Most important to attempt in this exam. I remember mine was the first online exam during COVID. So we were the COVID batch of IDCCM. In 2020, our exams were delayed by three months. And the pattern was totally changed. All 100 of our questions were case-based questions. In that, how much ever you have read facts won't matter. Eventually, what is going to matter is, in a case-based question, are your concepts clear or not? Don't think these are your neat exam questions where you read the question and the right answer just suddenly strikes you. Usually, you might have to go through all four of your options and select the best answer possible. You have to sometimes even refer medicine books. Certain topics like cardiac, neuro, and gastrophysiology part may be a little tough to understand from critical care books. At that point, you will have to open your medicine books and even sometimes your anesthesia books for certain hemodynamic monitoring and read from there to consolidate your knowledge better. Especially latest guidelines and articles. You always need to discuss with the colleagues. You should have a like-minded group, make small groups, study together. It's not possible for you to cover the whole course, right? So it is always better to have good discussion with the colleagues. And I would tell sincere attendance in rounds. That is going to help you the most because the syllabus is vast. So as I mentioned, unfinished syllabus. So how do we help you with this? What are we supposed to do? 
so team work like what tapas sir told makes the dream work that's why a few number of like minded people have come together and uh, i think i'm very honored and proud to tell that most of them are my either seniors from apollo or colleagues from apollo from idccm or fnb few of them are actually working with me right now in the same department and all of us had the same thought that how could we help you out people best so the point of this course how we have formulated is today was the introductory class everybody there will be lot of theory classes happening at your centers also there are theory classes by iscm then you have lot of webinars going on so we thought there's no point of unnecessary putting theory classes for you rather we thought to make you make you utilize this last 3 months properly every weekend we have planned saturday sunday the link will be open for exam so suppose for the example the first next week would be toxicology so from saturday morning to sunday evening 5 o'clock the toxicology exam link is going to be open so that you get ample time to attend the exam at your liberty whenever you are free from your icu duties and work and the exact questions can vary from 30 to 50 because toxicology may not have more questions than 30 whereas cardio and respiratory you can expect or neuro up to 60 now once you are done with that after 5 o'clock on sunday you are going to get a pre recorded video of the that particular modules debriefing video of the questions where we are going to tell you that whatever these 30 questions how should you approach how should you arrive at the right answer and what are the important points you should know about those topics and where should you read from and every week prior to this exams for a week before we are going to hand you over certain articles which we felt necessary during our idccm exam to read apart from your standard texts okay why we prefer pre recorded videos because live sessions like today all of you may not be able to attend all the time if they are pre recorded videos it will be helpful for you as you can access them later on whenever you want during your revision time or you have any doubts you want to go through it again at your own ease having said that everything pre recorded is just going to make it like a app based kind of approach so you shouldn't feel like that for that we have kept at the end of every month one live session like today to discuss what problems are you facing do you find any topic needs to be covered a little in detail more do you want us to stay, take some lectures for you accordingly so that we can plan out so it starts from 16th of december and goes till almost 10th of march and if you notice the last two are two mock exams where it will be like a classical idccm paper 100 questions 100 marks over 3 hours okay you will be also provided with the debrief video of both these exams now while formulating the modules also it's not like you know while allotting the faculties we have thought a lot we have not simply assigned faculties so like for toxicology dr sashi is there who is working in vijaya hospital chennai consultant critical care medicine she is there with me for gastroenterology you have dr g vinaya apollo hospitals jubilee hills hyderabad and dr aditi uh, she is working in kmc hospitals mangalore for cardiology if you look at we have dr nandini meganathan she is actually my senior in idccm and currently based in new zealand right now the point of approaching her was she is a post cardiothoracic intensive fellow from national health university singapore so we thought who could be better than her to you know guide you regarding how to go through cardiology we have dr nidhi uh, let me tell you for batch 2020 dr nidhi was the idccm topper and she has been felicitated for that she is right now in ikra hospitals calicut for neurology you have dr hari haran m who is presently um, working in um, uh, kovai medical center hospital coimbatore he is also post fncc fellowship of neurocritical care from the iscm i couldn't think of anyone better than him for this module and dr gautam who is my colleague who is consultant department critical care medicine he is post drn for trauma and surgical emergencies we have dr rohit kumar patnaik specialist critical care medicine medio 247 hospital abu dhabi along with him dr shraddha patarkar who is in dinanath mangeshkar pune dr pon tilak from kovai medical center department of critical care medicine sorry royal hospital coimbatore i'm sorry and dr aditi prabhu 
डॉक्टर विठल राजनाला बिकॉज ही इज पोस्ट एफ एन बी फ्रॉम फोर्टिस हॉस्पिटल डेली इज करेंटली माई कली कंसल्टेंट क्रिटिकल केयर मेडिसिन फ्रॉम भुवनेश्वर also he is pursuing his infectious disease fellowship course in cmc bellur so i uh, he can guide us better for that like how to go about these topics dr priya who is at present currently based in srmc chennai and i think i've covered everyone almost yeah so that's why if you look at even all the modules also the faculties while choosing we have made sure that we cover we try to get those faculties Whose plus points are particular modules, and the best people are only giving you the best information, the study materials, and how to deal with that particular module, right? So we hope we can help you out. All I can say is we are this like-minded, whatever like Tapasar told, maybe the same wavelength or like-minded group of people. All of us, our colleagues, have been you know uh, studied at one point of time, and all of us know what IDCM felt like. appearing for the exam and the help we needed and we sincerely hope that all of you could benefit from this course that is the main agenda and we hope we can do justice to your preparation having said that whatever we do with the module the materials we give you the deep examinations and the debrief videos at the end the last 50% effort has to be from you so start your preparations from now do not wait till the last moment it looks like a multiple choice single answer you may think 50 50% chances that's not it if your concepts are not clear your exam is this exam is very difficult to ace read n n number of books even you have read irwin ripe through and through even if you have read things through and through i can just tell if your concepts are not clear you cannot rule out the options because the questions are not directly going to come from the books they are going to see how much you have worked and what all you know about the subject and the particular case scenarios if they ask you some fact based questions are going to be there it's impossible that 100 questions are going to be tough there will be 30 direct questions 30 medium level and the other rest of the 40 maybe a little on the tougher side so start your preparations from now we hope we can guide you at each and every step all of us are going to, once you register there will be a whatsapp group all of us are going to be available in the group any doubts any extra classes or lectures you want from us we will do that for you we just need prior information because all of us are working in issues right now and we hope we can you know we can be a part of the success of idccm theory and we plan to even conduct an idccm practicals once this exam is over thank you and i'm really sorry for my voice today i hope i was audible and clear yeah thank you thank you dr alisa for uh, explaining about the vision as well as guiding the young students how to crack the exam as well as explaining about the the examination as well as the course module so i would now request dr sanand kumar das uh, course director as well as one of the uh, co-founder of uh, 360 critical care to just give a few uh, hints about uh, the idccm tricks course what is it all about thanks tapas and uh, thank you for all of you um, who has joined especially the candidates and the faculties um i'm really impressed looking at the whole uh, gamut of people involved in this um and uh, the best thing is uh, we have people who have done it not like people who have never appeared this exam and try to teach it so um it's a great pleasure to have this many faculties who have recently passed the exam and they know the in and out of the exam what is asked how to prepare how to manage your time and most importantly um, are able to provide guidance in terms of what literature to read because as alisha was saying you can read any any book um, doesn't matter but you need to know what to read and how do you uh, clear your basic understanding of a topic so that's what i think the aim of the whole course um, we will give um, little bit of time bound actually so 7 days or 6 days of uh, studying and then appearing a mock test but 
I can assure that if you stick by the time and by the syllabus that uh, we are going to provide you, I think you should be able to make, make it through the exam. So uh, basically it's about three months that can uh, you can capitalize afterwards. So just give 100% effort, uh, even if irrespective whether you join the course or not. But three months, if you study hard, then I don't think it's an exam that you will not be able to pass. So definitely you will be able to pass. We'll be fortunate if we can help you guys. Uh, uh, even if, as I said, whether you join the course, don't join the course, doesn't matter. But these guys are available as your guides because they have done the courses, uh, done, done, done the exam. They know what is asked, uh, what type of questions come, what, what are the things you don't need to study uh, and how deeply you need to study. So that's the most important part of it. Um, from my side, um, so uh, me, Tapas, and most of the faculty will try to catch up with you guys intermittently whenever um, according to the schedule. But definitely, as Alicia said, if you guys want any specific topic to be covered or to be uh, looked at, or if you have any doubt, we are available there. We are happy to take classes on that. Uh, but we don't want to overburden you on the, on the classes. So it's better to have a practice uh, of the of the questions and get those six days which are in between the modules use it to the most possible um, benefit to yourself uh, that's what my um, I'll not say advice but that's what my thought process about this course um, this is a very good structure we have tested this structure in other courses so I think this is this is the best way of preparing the exam for three months period uh, the, the time is not that much that you can go through in detail of every chapter but you need to know what what specific things you need to know i'll stop here because i want to give opportunity to the guys who are the main pillars of the course uh, to talk and share the experience thank you tapas and thanks alicia for your um, really great introduction of the course and um, whole um, uh, makeup thank you thank you thank you sanant and uh, now i invite uh... Our faculties, uh, Dr. Rohit, I would start as I see the faces. Yeah. Uh, hello, sir. Am I audible? Yes, yes, you are audible. Uh, yeah, thank you, Alicia, for a very uh, good briefing of what is there upcoming for us. And uh, so the thing is, uh, uh, I have not given an IDCCM exam uh, per se, but uh, during my DM course, I have been always. Uh, going through the IDCCM exam and uh, all the questions uh, that is going on in the exam. So that has been the best part about uh, knowing that there is an IDCCM course that it is going to benefit all the people who are going to go through the course, not just the IDCCM guys, the several fellowships as well that keep happening uh, that also is going to benefit for all of them. So this is the uh, essence of this course, I guess. And the second part, which I really liked about this course is uh, having uh, some things which are going to get repeated uh, in a spaced manner. And uh, spaced repetition is something which has been found very beneficial when you go for preparations for exams, as in there are mock exams uh, at every uh, couple of uh, exams, I mean, couple of topics later. So that will help probably the candidates to even imbibe it and imbibe and reproduce it in the exams better. So this is all from my side, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Rohit. So just adding, as uh, Rohit has told, the space discussion, because if we will be allowing you to give five or seven mock tests or like 15 mock tests in the last month, it would be something not very useful. Rather, if you start doing it regularly, it becomes like uh, a hobby. So you will be not stressed in your exam, exam day, IDC, same, getting the MCQs and you will be like uh, feeling what to do, how to exclude the options, how to read it, scan the long question and making it in short in uh, your limited two hours or three hours time. So it's always uh, advised that you should be doing it regularly to get the best benefit. That is point number one. And just adding as uh, Sanath has told, it's not always important to know the what to read. Rather, I would say for the critical care exit exams and in our busy schedule, it's always advisable also to know what not to read. So our uh, the faculties, they have actually been trained in most of the, I would say, 
uh, very reputed and uh, uh, I can say academic oriented hospitals and medical colleges. So they know that what would be the study materials or the reading materials or resources that they are preparing now that would be given to you that you can finish in all those like five days or six days time. So that is very important. If I would be bombarding you with a lot of materials, resource materials, it may look a little bit impressive that yes, I have 10 articles on pulmonary embolism, but I don't know that this proper systematic approach in just two pages, I can be summarizing the pulmonary embolism. So that's the essence of attending this type of course where everything is structured. Everything has been given only six days time. It cannot be that cardiology will take 15 days and neurology will be take given only two days or three days. It cannot happen like that. Exam questions would be always uh, partitioned into like eight question, 10 question, eight question, 10 question. It cannot happen that cardiology question would be 30 and neurology question would be only two. It cannot happen like that. Okay. So now I invite uh, Dr. Uh, Gautam, if you want to please share anything. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Uh, thank you for the introduction, sir, and thank you for the introduction, Alisha, ma'am. Uh, I would like to tell some things, like uh, like Dr. Alisha told, there will be some uh, 30 fact-based questions, which is very easy to clear upon. Uh, what I have noticed among people is that we tend to chase, a, chase for the tough questions always, try to prepare for them, and in the end, we make silly mistakes in the factual questions. And uh, those factual questions, probably, I think, every time you find something, you should make a note of it, keep it along with the uh, uh, articles or uh, uh, the materials that you have. Uh, like you cannot read all the book simultaneously. It is advisable to keep one book as a standard book, which are going to start preparation from now on. For example, if you choose Ose Manuel or Fink or Washington, whatever it is, it should be the single book, which is going to help you revise. All those points which you are going to <clears throat> learn from now on is going to be added to the book. You either paste a stick, sticky note uh, in the same topic, add the points, or you create a separate notebook, or you have your iPad and uh, uh, tablets where you can create a, uh, create separate folders to revise upon. Because reading <clears throat> topics from different books will <clears throat> trouble you in such a way that uh, you will not be you will not be able to cover up the day before examinations and sometimes you may you may you tend to forget very small facts which are there in the books if you see them see them once it will be helpful for you to clear the exam easy and uh, like i have attended a, co a similar course with uh, 360 critical care and this is a, a very a good model because uh, you have like many of them are many of us are not good in planning and executing the plan since you have a pre-plan uh, prior in front of you, you uh, like a toxicology exam is on seven. So you read toxicology with the materials. I would always suggest you should prepare something away from these materials also, whatever said and done, because you have, you would have already prepared something which is basically going to be the core of the uh, uh, topic. And from then you are going to build upon. So with these articles, which is given to you, I would prefer you to read whatever you have read already and come for the exam. And analyze yourself that if you are reading only a single chapter for seven, seven to ten days and coming for an exam, I think you should you should be able to get 80%. We will try to make the exam as uh, IDCC, more as IDCC oriented, but uh, not so uh, easy to, to get your sc uh, score 100% in the examinations. But your goal is to score 100% in all the examinations. So that like, uh, I don't think passing should be uh, something that we should aspire for. All, always we should aspire for the person who is going to be the first who is going to decide the cutoff and whatever comes is on the way. Let us see what happens. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Gautam, uh, for uh, explaining the tips and bits of uh, IDSM preparatory course. Now I invite Dr. Sasi. Could you please unmute and uh, say some words? Dr. Sasi. Uh, good evening. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening, yes. sir. Uh, thank you, sir. And thank you, Alicia, for the introduction. Uh, before, like what, as uh, Dr. Gautam was uh, telling us that we need to read the articles, but still we need to read what we have already read during our classes. There would have been some academic sessions in our hospital where they would have taught us, like in case if you take regarding toxicology, OPC, we would have already discussed and you would have had some materials. I would always suggest read those articles 
read the articles which we share and club it up and put it in a single folder because before the exam it will be easy for you to revise if you just read in one book and leave it somewhere on the ipad you will not be able to search for the articles at the last minute the other thing is whatever you read how much you apply when you do the mcq is more important so do mcqs like do it with utmost attention so that you don't uh, make any mistakes and as gautam was saying i would always tell try to score as much as possible here because at the final exam we really don't know how tough the paper is going to be that's also thank you dr sasi and uh, i would say because i am closely associated with the conducting all these exams so the iccm uh, and the idccm exams are actually becoming tougher day by day so you have to be really on your toes while preparing so thank you dr sasi now i invite dr g binya dr g binya are you there Dr. Aditi Prabhu. Dr. Aditi. Dr. Nidhi. Uh, Nidhi is in cat lab, sir. So I think she won't join. She's still okay. okay. Dr. Nandini. Dr. Hariharan. Dr. Shraddha. Hello, sir. Uh, Dr. Hari Aran. Yeah. Good evening. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, yeah. uh, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for uh, inviting us and uh, thank you for the introduction. And uh, thank you, Alicia, uh, for giving me a good introduction. Uh, I'm from Coimbatore. Uh, I just completed my FNP from Apollo. Uh, Alicia is my colleague and uh, she's my junior. And uh, I completed my fellowship in Europe Technical from PMC. Uh, yeah, uh, most of the things uh, what uh, Gautam, uh, Tapas sir and Alice has given actually, they given a brief introduction and uh, uh, the things how to prepare for the exams. And most of us uh, are after finishing our MD and we used to get theory exams, we used to write for a lot of theories and all those things. When you come to this IT system, we used to have this MCQs. So preparing for theories ultimately different from what you're doing for an MCQs. And uh, during our courses and classes and all those things, we are able to crack some questions and mostly importantly where we'll get a dilemma is like out of two options you have to correct one based option, which is there. so for that our basics should be very strong like gautam said we have to read from a one book and through that you have to add on articles keep on adding it up so that you can revise from the same book and along with the articles and along with the preparatory materials it will be easy and more important is like uh, where to read how to read and how to revise. These things will help you out during the last minute preparations. Because the subject is so volatile and so large, we can keep on reading for a longer time. So we have to know where to read and what to read and how to precisely keep remembering the things before going for an exam. That is more important. And uh, thanks to Alicia for uh, making such a, uh, good classes with adequate time. Uh, for each and uh, every topic has been involved and uh, Tapasar is actually a genius in doing all those things. I have just uh, undergone some of the uh, classes or sessions by him while preparing for an edict. Uh, so all the best guys, we are here to help you out. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for giving the opportunity and thank you, Alice. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hariharan. Uh, now I would request Dr. Shraddha. Dr. Shraddha. Dr. Pawn Thelak, Dr. Aditi, Dr. Nidhi, Dr. Priya, are you there? Yeah, hello, sir. How are you? Yeah, good, good. Good evening, Dr. Uh, Priya. Hello, good evening, dear friends. Good evening, sir. And uh, thanks for the introduction to everyone. Uh, just uh, uh, about the IDCCM exam. Well, uh, most of us have gone through the IDCCM exams and uh, myself, I've cleared IDCCM, EDIC, as well as at the verge of completion of uh, DM, uh, awaiting my exams in the next month. And thanks to Tapas sir for the uh, tricks uh, course, as well as I've attended the top course, it was excellent. 
and uh, i wish uh, this course also seems to be uh, going at the same uh, extent and uh, i whatever i felt and uh, whenever i was going through my idccm training i felt most of us have the feeling okay we are not uh, uh, supposed to know this much this is only for dm or this is only for dnb so some uh, of us may limit or uh, tend to have a opinion that this is not but the idccm theory exams the extent of questions that we uh, encounter during the theory exams are so much that you don't know how it was exactly whether it's what it was difficult most of us say how the exam was they usually say i don't know how the exam was at all because we really don't know how it was some of the patients it's very difficult to even uh, st strategize your examination based on that so it's a really difficult exam whatever i felt it is and going through a numerous number of previous papers like through the uh, various mcq patterns and self reading is a must at this point of time self reading only the step videos or the various videos may not be that much helpful it will be helpful to understand the concepts but uh, going through the mcqs i think you need to even go through the uh, articles and various other uh, books mcq books and all those things and i feel this course will be really helpful to assess to have a self assessment at which level you are and to analyze where you're lacking from and that will help you prioritize and concentrate on the topics where you really need to concentrate and you can improve yourself so i think that will be making that, that will be uh, really helpful from this course so that is my point. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Priya. And thank you for believing in us. She is associated with uh, us for, I think, uh, since uh, the EDIC as well as the DM preparatory courses. And uh, definitely, I told you, you must be remembering that you, one day you will be faculty in our uh, teaching academy and uh, you would be definitely taking classes. And I am happy that you have uh, now is one integral part of our course. Yeah. yeah thank you. So, Dr. Vittal. Dr. Vittal. Thank you, thank you Tapas sir. Thank you, Alicia, for the introduction. I want to say that um, always there is like, how, what is the mindset six months prior to and how to prepare six months prior to the exam, three months prior to the exam, one week prior to the exam. That's very important. I think this in this course, all the seniors will help you out with what would be your mindset, what, what not to study before the exam. And... One of the most important thing is like we attempt like if there is like uh, 100 questions, we try to attempt like about 90, 95. But what I think is the important thing is like error. Most of the people after coming out of the, oh shit, yeah, this was a very easy question, which I, you know, made a mixture, mistake. This should be the minimum thing. So the error should be like less than 5%. And uh, End of the day, you try to score as high as possible. And it's not like uh, you should limit yourself with anything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bittal. You have rightly pointed one very important thing. So the examination normally happens in the our national as well as international exams. It's not uh, very uh, important to be like doing the error for a difficult question. But it's, it's very important if you are doing silly mistake for a very easy question. And that will be giving you a very, I can say, a drastic fall from, I think, 75th percentile to 50th percentile. Because normally the international exams right now, it's not based on your the numbers, the absolute numbers. Rather that it's in the percentile. So it's based on how many silly mistakes you have done. So if you are doing five silly mistakes, you will be from 75th percentile to 50th percentile and your passing percentage or I would say probability will be definitely low. But if you do the mistake in a very difficult question, tough question, most of the people will be doing the same thing. Then you will be in the same league. Your The, the percentile will not actually de further. So that is the whole point and Dr. Vittal has actually rightly pointed. Number of times you do multiple choice questions and you do make it as a like you know every weekend affair 
so it would be a, just a cakewalk on the day of your exam you will be just taking it as normal weekend like you are doing the tricks id system and you will be having your exam so that's that's all about from all the faculties dr alisa anybody who has been left or i have not uh, no we have covered people are on duty so that's why ah, so yeah, like yeah. Uh, sir told the, all the faculty spoke all i would say is whether you join this course or not that is up to you but the take away message will be it's high time for preparation this was something actually i wanted to do we have five trainees giving idccm next year in our department itself so when sir suggested why not do it for the idccm trainees throughout the country that is how this course came along uh, so we hope Let's see how many people, how many of you join. Let's see people of next uh, start the course from next week. It's thank you, thank you, Dr. Alisa, for the vision. And right now, I request any of the attendees if they want to share something, of their like query or anything related to the course itself. If they have any doubt, we will be taking their like points. Anyone, they everybody is allowed to speak. You can unmute and. Uh, Tell if you want to say something. Uh, good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening, Dr. Durga. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I have completed my ID system. I cleared my ID system two thousand twenty-two August batch. Uh, right. Then I joined the IS system port, but okay. uh, I couldn't clear it, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I want some help from this port. Will it be helpful for me? Dr. Durga, if I would say, uh, joining an uh, MCQ based course may not be appropriate for you, but definitely it will enhance your knowledge, the grasping power and the coverage of your like the critical care domains definitely because it will be covering the theory part as well. But yes, I think you have been in our group uh, for the top yeah, yeah. class course. Yeah. So unfortunately, you missed our course. And I assured you that we are coming up with uh, one more course that will be definitely helpful to you because IFCCM is not about MCQ exams. It will be directly practical, yeah. side exam. So for that, we have the other course, which is for the <coughs> MB and DM practical course. So we would be helping you out. Don't worry, Dr. Durga. But yes, okay. for the sake of completing your total critical care curriculum, you can join. Yeah. Because this MCQ exam, if you are planning for EDIC also in future, so this would be the first step. So you can like uh, cover up almost 500 MCQs in uh, next three months. Yeah. And at least I can Sorry, cover all these theory, theory topics. Yes, yes, yes. It would be definitely helpful. Nothing is Sorry, like... If I may uh, add up something? Yeah, please, Dr. Vital. Yeah, it's uh, directed to Dr. Durga. Most yes. of the questions would be real life scenarios. And yes, no matter what, the, what exam you are sit for, the questions and the pattern doesn't change. Like this would be the topic yeah, yeah. or similar to that. Thing is yeah, like that I felt sir. That I felt yeah, yeah, you the common topics. Yeah. Exactly. And it's about the mindset what you develop. Yeah. Okay. So Dr. Durga, it would be definitely helpful if we will be all opining about the uh, the whether you should join or not. If you are really interested to clear the critical care curriculum in next three to four months, this would be, I think, the best way forward. That's why I am thinking of joining. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Durga. Thank you. Anyone, anyone of you who has any doubt related to your preparation, related to the examination pattern, related to this course pattern, anything? would be happy to answer. Any of our faculty would be happy to answer. Yeah. If it is not there, Dr. Uh, Alisa, could you please uh, summarize and we can uh, sign out. Yeah. So thank you everyone for uh, joining the webinar today, free introductory class. So uh, the vision is the same like all of us mentioned to help you throughout your IDCCM preparation. And, you know, to be uh, with you at every step throughout this next three months. And uh, hopefully, like, the vision what we all faculties are sharing, all of my colleagues, it is, uh, like, uh, what you are what you boon in disguise for you. I do not deny that there are not many courses out there. ISSM is conducting a step ISSM course. Having gone through that course, and the, I'm aware of all the other courses, 
the only thing different about our course would be that uh, i'm not saying that yeah we are the most senior people in critical care also till now we are still in the young generation but probably yes fresh from an idccm exam we have all gone through uh, some pretty uh, strict and rigorous training during our critical care uh, preparation and critical care practice and all of us have you know during exams have felt that certain way or pattern of reading has helped us and that is why all of us could come together if you see from various parts of india to create this course so how are we different as i said we are just making it more of mcq based so that you get enough practice is what professor told also try to give you articles maybe five to six articles about every module or every topic only the relevant ones there is no point of giving you 10 to 15 articles which you can't finish only the relevant articles which summarizes well which we feel will make your concepts clear only those articles to be given it to you will be given to you the exam we are trying to keep the links open for at least one and a half days so that you do it at leisure the pre recorded videos will be always with you you can access them any point of time during your duty hours the other thing would be we thought as faculties just by making questions or pre recorded videos our work doesn't get over our main aim will be to be available for you guys also till your exam in the whatsapp groups where you can contact us for any kind of help for your preparation any extra topics or lectures so that's how i feel this is different from the other courses and the rest i think you have spoken to the other faculties few of them couldn't be there with us because <clears throat> they are in the icu working right now but i think all of us have made it clear for you is like what are we thinking and how are we going to help so thank you everyone for attending thank you thank you dr alisa and uh, sanant anything before concluding or else we can i have questions then uh, if nobody is asking i will ask so alisha you have a very good plan uh, put in there so just like a date frame wise so we are starting the course next week monday yes, probably sir. is that it yeah uh, no next week uh, by 10th they'll get their toxicology articles 16th okay. is a saturday so saturday will be exam till 17th is a sunday sunday 5 o'clock the link will be open all right okay and the debrief video will be available in 7 days on on 17th yeah it will be on 17th after 5 o'clock yeah okay and that will continue for uh, how many till the end sessions? of the yeah, yeah till the end and then two mock test after that and yes. we have intermittent live sessions in between yes. but that can be more frequent if the candidates require more yeah. that's what my the la point of live session was to know actually what do they want extra or yeah. do they feel something needs to be changed so we have kept three live sessions so that we keep meeting them frequently and there'll be a whatsapp group where they can connect to us also excellent all right no uh, nothing else i can add on here tapas i think it is a very robust structure of the yes. course and yes. in three it's months broken, you cannot broken. ask for more so it's a time tested and proven because we have conducted similar uh, pattern in other exams and definitely the candidates are getting benefit so thank you all of you for joining taking your time out of your busy schedule thank you all the faculties from core of our heart and from 360 critical care and all the attendees who have uh, conglomerated and uh, we are definite uh, plan in front of us right now to ace the upcoming idccm exam thank you all of you we are at your service and definitely we will be helping you out don't think that only you will be joining then only we will be helping you out so we are there to help you out in your like critical care teaching training and also your exams thank you thank you tapas thank you all of you thank you sir.